Thank you very much, Dr. Rao. Uh, thanks for BCSI for inviting me to be here to share some of my experience in the complications of our patient standing. And uh, I think uh, most of you have, uh, uh, have many experience in the core patient standing. And uh, what I share, I share what I did they do and I, what did I got it. Uh, first, I think coarctation standing now becomes a very common intervention for most interventionists in the uh, congenital heart disease. You can see we have, even though with very severe coarctation, but after putting the stand, uh, everything looks very beautiful. But what the complications uh, in terms of the coarctation standing? First one is the complication related to the complex morphology. Second one, the uh, complication related to the technique. Some some cases with broken stain, rupture balloon, and stain embolization, and some complications related to stain selection. We chose choose the wrong uh, stain, or uh, some cases need to uh, cover stain, but we choose bare metal stain or long too long or too short stain, and eh? some complication happen. Uh, or some cases with multiple risk factors for the patient. Uh, let me start with the complication related to the complex morphologies. This is the patient is the 30 years old male and the body weight is 75 kg. Uh, just a systemic uh, hypertension uh, and on CT you can see the severe coarctation and tortuous uh, aortic arch. Uh, and uh, in, uh, when we did the angiography and uh, pressure gradient, the pressure gradient are 45. And <clears throat> And we started doing the angiography, and you can see we could not see any uh, connection between the descending aorta and, uh, and the transverse arcs. And as we should choose from above, uh, crossing from, from the uh, subclavian artery, and you can see very tortuous and very severe uh, and arctic. Just only see from the uh, uh, above, not the below. And we, uh, we try to put the stand. You see the stand, CB stand for 45 mm uh, length and CB stand remounted. And you can see the stand is the right position. Looks very beautiful. And uh, we start inflate the balloon. You can see the balloon, the, the stand can in place. You can see the stand in place very uh, uh, beautiful. But what happened? After inflate the balloon, uh, the stand sl uh, slip down to the descending order. And you see the stand set underneath the coarctation. And what did you do? Uh, we, we tried to put a second stand, uh, but not a covered stand, the uh, bare metal stand. And uh, we tried to fix the first the embolized stand to the coarctation. And uh, when the second stand is positioned, but uh, when inflate the second stand, two stands emboli also, and uh, it's also below the coarctation. And uh, what happened? After several minutes, two stands go to the uh, thoracic uh, aorta. And what happened due to this? Maybe the coarctation looks very tiny, very uh, severe, but it's just the pole, not the really the uh, coarctation. And so the compliance to prevent the stand, and so stand very easy to be amplified. And so should we do the balloon uh, uh, and, uh, with the low pressure balloon first for CV coarctation? It's not uh, common for our practice. Normally, very severe coarctation we start with the stand, cover stain. And also, where the, we can fix the guide wire, the position of the guide wire may be the descending or ascending order or the uh, left subclavian, which one is uh, better? And uh, at the first uh, attempt, should we pull the rotation of the stain and we should keep the some ways, make sure that the stain is stable or we, want, we, we should open, open the dilation of the first stain. And second case I would like to share to you is a complex case, a tricuspic atresia with pulmonary atresia with a single ventricle LV morphology. The patient is, uh, did uh, many, uh, several times with coarctation, now real coarctation, and many venovenous collaterals and prior uh, femoral artery uh, stenosis. And uh, uh, here you see the, uh, on echo, it looks the uh, left ventricle, uh, single ventricle with the left side and severe coarctation with very tortuous. Uh, the patient with the right axon. And uh, we 
we you can see there's uh, many phenomenons and we try to close phenomenon but mention on the coaptation you see the right axis and very tortuous and very strange i think it's a very complex morphology and uh, remember with the femoral uh, right femoral artery is a stenotic and so we cannot approach from the femoral artery we cross from the venous side and cross the uh, descending order and through the uh, this, uh, descending order and you can see uh, we keep the big tail in the femoral artery but we put the long sheet from the femoral vein and the stand when put in the position right position looks very beautiful there yeah, we can do the angel graphy from the descending order and uh, ascending order also and what happened when we inflate the inner balloon it looks uh, Okay, but uh, when we start with the outer balloon, you can see the the balloon slip to the descending order, and you see just open the this part of the stain, and uh, and what happened? You can see after pull open the balloon, you can see just the uh, this part of the stain open the uh, the proximal part can could not open there. And uh, it's a very difficult. And should we try to to do uh, further dilatation, we worry if we try to do this. Maybe you see the tip of the stain is a very is a, is a size of the most stenotic part of the aorta, and so it's very dangerous if we pull up one over there. And we think we should put the second stain connect with the first stain to cover the the small small smallest part of the uh, aorta, and the second stain. Uh, looks uh, uh, not so uh, strong enough for for open the the stenotic, and we use the uh, high pressure balloon to further dilatation, and finally we can get a good result. Yeah, but uh, you know the stain sleeping stain is very common complication in the coaptation with a complex morphology, and the final result looks uh, okay. Uh, the second thing is complication of the uh, coarctation is uh, related to procedure. In this case, uh, I put the uh, coarctation, I put the uh, stain. It looks very beautiful, but uh, some pressure gradient. The patient is uh, 10 years old, and uh, mm, we use a uh, high pressure balloon, but it seems uh, uh, not eff efficacy. And uh, when tried many times, you see the stain broken there, and we could not uh, further dilatation due to the broken stain. And we should put a, a second stain inside. And you can see with the second stain, then of course the cover stain inside, and you can see the good result. And so should we try to pull open at the first time or with a, a many attempts with a high pressure, and we can cause uh, some complication. And I changed my practice with there for small baby. And uh, first I tried, I just put a stain enough for the patient, keep the, some waste, and I uh, several months later I can. I use a balloon and further dilatation to get a maximum result. And then this case is tells you also the, uh, almost 40 kg. And uh, you can see that very severe coagulation with a very tiny BDA. And uh, we plan to do the uh, coagulation stenting with a cover stain due to the very severe and some uh, small shun there. And the uh, uh, everything looks okay except we can see when I advance the stain there. You see the balloon is outside the stain. And we inflate the balloon. You can see just a digital box of the balloon uh, open. And you can see uh, the balloon just open at the digital box. And you see uh, we could not open this one. And what did we do? We try to full open this. And you can see with the full open this. And you can see the balloon rupture. And balloon rupture in, inside the stand is not easy for remove the balloon. And you can see it's when they attend this. And we, uh, sometimes we fail to, to retreat the balloon. We need to ask the surgeon to remove the balloon later. But luckily, in this case, we, we, we successful in retrieving the, the balloon outside. But you can see there is a, it's a very common uh, complication happen when we put the stand inside the sheet, a small, a little bit small sheet, and the balloon slip out of the the stain. And of course, after uh, uses uh, uh, second, uh, the bigger balloon, and we can get a good result. 
and in some cases, some complications related to stem selection. You can see this case with a small baby with a coaptation and aneurysm and some dissection out there and some collateral or something else. We can put a stain, but you can see after the first stain, looks everything are okay, but the stain will be shortening. And you can see still the very huge and uh, large uh, 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 aneurysm out there. We should put a second stain, and you can see after second stain with the carpal stain looks very beautiful. And so which we think is a two stain is better. In this case, we we use a first stain to cover the transverse arch, a second stain to uh, descend in our water. But you, you can see the shock stain is a, a slip and not connect together. We put the, the third stain to connect to uh, the two stains. And you can see the rupture, uh, rupture over there. And you can see the lid over there. And we should put the cover stain. And so totally four stains or in this patient, so it's not good. And if we can change our mind with, uh, about the long stand with the cover stand, maybe bigger, better. Here's also the two stands, uncovered stand, but you can see after two stands, you can see the leak over there, and uh, we need to put the, the cover stand. And so uh, the short stand or uh, small stand is not good uh, in the old cases. And some uh, cases with a huge aneurysm, uh, you can see I put the one stand cover stand, but you see the uh, the endolic out there. I think due to the the leak underneath the stand, I put a second stand underneath uh, the the um, in the in in the lower part of the first stand, but still the leak. And I put the third stand inside, and so still leak. In some in some cases, I really we I really we didn't understand why the uh, endolic still happened. And for my conclusion, uh, the complication for patient standing is a high prevalence. And the morphology is in complex case uh, due to the techniques and the device selection, stand selection. And we, if we know how and where condition happen, we can control well. Thank you very much for listening.